Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. On this video, we're starting Chapter 4, Dawn of a New Era. So, looking at our story, we're at the fortress. Follow the robed individuals to Junon. Alright, so Junon's over there. Where did that bird even come from, I think? There's a story about a great condor said to roost on an island's abandoned reactor. Though there's no longer any way to reach the isle. Or at least, none that I'm aware of. Nature's finally reclaiming what Shinra stole. Well, even if we could get there, I'd rather not bother. Didn't seem very friendly. Agreed. Let's focus on where we can go. Okay, so we got some material here. We got Sage and Marjoram. And you can't call your chocobo here if you try. You cannot call a chocobo in this region yet. Chocobos of the world. Each region of the world is home to its own breed of chocobo with its own unique ability. However, you will need to wrangle the area's bird first before you can call it to your side. To find where the local chocobos roost, locate and follow their tracks. Note that some region's chocobos may require you to complete certain odd jobs or progress in the story before you can ride them. So no chocobo for us. We got Leo Titanium, Numinous Ashes, and some Iron Ore there. Iron Ore, and Leo Titanium. Numinous Ashes, Tourmaline, that's new. And some Iron Ore. Ether Onion, uh, Planet's Blessing, I believe that's new. Tourmaline, Emerald, and Iron Ore. There's Planet's Blessing and there's Planet's Favor, and I believe Planet's Blessing is the new one. We got Sage and Pearl Ginger Root. Uh, we got a ch little Chocobo here, um, but we can't. Um, we don't have our Chocobo yet. I think we actually can get the stop running, but we'll wait till we have a Chocobo. Got an Emerald and Iron Ore, and there's some more materials over here. Timber and Mist Seeds. All right, so we've got this weird wall here with a Chocobo icon on it. Also an owl trying to send us up there. This cliff appears to be insurmountable without a mountain Chocobo. Okay, so once again, we'll need a Chocobo for that. Let's keep going towards Junon. Another rope guy here. And we've discovered the desolate work site. A cache location, two treasures here. Got a Moogle medal, a potion, and a grenade from those boxes. And got another uh, Moogle medal. Numinous Ashes, Tourmaline, and Iron Ore. And this one's Leo Titanium, Iron Ore, and Tourmaline. Got a chest here. Two high potions. Yes. Got another Moogle medal. And there we have three canisters of hazardous material. And that completes the desolate work site. Two pearl ginger roots. We have titanium and numinous ashes. We got Planet's Blessing and Planet's Favor. Same there. And we've got an enemy. Look at me! Hello! Alright, new enemy. This is a fleet wing. Let's go ahead and, and assess it. That's do it right. Avian creatures that nest in mountainous regions. Their stiff feathers help them cut through the air to quickly descend upon their prey. Exploiting their elemental weakness will pressure them. And they are weak to win. But we don't need that. They go down quick. And our auto cast materia improved. Well, good. I don't actually want that. So I think I had that on red 13. Yep. Oh, and he doesn't have a weapon skill. What are we doing? Let's give him ATB charge rate up. 
And we'll drop that autocast material or materia for um, I don't know something else maybe MP up. Let's do MP up. Right, we got Sage there. Planet's blessing. And favor. Same thing there. And another new enemy. This is a Kepar wire. I got your number. Botanical creatures that live near coasts. Their roots have developed in a way that allows them to scurry about unfettered. They have no vision or hearing, sensing enemies through vibrations instead. Exploiting their elemental weakness will pressure them, and they're weak to ice. Oh, we got the good bench. Let's go. Join the fight. Keep our world safe. Now recruiting. To Mellow Oak there, and we've got some Shinra soldiers. Hello, gentlemen. No civilians allowed. Under Junon's further down, on the coast. No civilians allowed. I can't let you through. Head to Under Junon if you're looking for an inn. I can't let you through. Okay, so no entry, and uh, we're deciding to play nice and not just bully our way in. We got three pieces of sage. And then Leo Titanium and Numinous Ashes. So all of this is Junon? Everything above us. Below is under Junon. Little more than an impoverished fishing village. Huh. Figures, Shinra's always gotta have someone stumped on. It's their friggin' MO. Okay, well, this is the way to under Junon. Pretty long path. I've oh, got a boat down there. And a big boat right there. But well, there's the city. It's kind of cool. What do we got here? We got some sage, iron ore, Leo titanium, and some blessings. One moment. Hmm? Welcome to Under Junon, our sunless oasis. My name is Rhonda. I'm the mayor and sheriff around these parts. could turn you in and be a hundred grand richer for it <laughs> well you know what they say can't take it with you hmm. Hmm. and Aerith to boot huh that's another half a million on top <gasps> half a million <laughs> down here though we know when to turn a blind eye. Consider our lips sealed. Uh, sorry, but I call bullshit. Well, 
I don't think you would, if you knew even half of what my town's been through. You don't like it? Leave. But, over there, there's a quiet little inn, where everyone's welcome. Any guys in black robes pass through? Not that I saw. Did see some black suits, though. Two guys and a girl. Looked pretty tough. Well, well. They made a beeline right for the elevator. Now we're talking. No, don't even think about it. In case it isn't obvious, upstairs is Shinra turf. And the same goes for the elevator as well. Don't ask me what, but the company's got something big planned up there. And security is tight. You start anything? Anything at all? And there will be consequences. Behave yourselves now. You'll be safe here. Relax. Hey, you can trust me. Cross my heart. Behave yourselves now. Okay, well, she could have turned us in, but decided not to. But will everybody else in this town agree to those same rules? I kind of doubt it. So we should be careful. Don't care what she said. There's got to be black robes around here somewhere. So how are we going to find them? That would depend on where they are headed. If they mean to continue west, there are only two ways off this continent. By sea, or by air. Right. Might want to ask around town, then. Locals will know routes not on the map. May have even seen stragglers pass through. Or got boats for rent or something. How about we meet at the inn when we're done? Sounds good. And remember, low profile. New Queen's Blood players await your challenge in Under Juno. Okay, so let's look around under Juno. Seabury stinks of Mako. I can't react her. We'll get you looking shiny and new in no time. Brittle houses in the sea air. Paint chipping and wood bending, time moving on, and the light here, the way it bounces off the ocean below and the metal above, a pastiche of contrasts, the stark steel beams, the weather beaten homes, the drying fish. Oh, made your way out here, huh? Mind if I get a shot of you? I've got the perfect backdrop. Under Junon's a fascinating little town. Their water is especially so. I mean the color. This beauty comes at a dangerously high price, though. It's worth documenting before it's gone. Anyway, if you know any other camera-worthy subjects... Right, we learned of a scenic spot, Junon. Scenic spot. And that's in an area we have not been to Brutal at all. houses in the sea air. So... We already did the one in the grasslands. We just have this one in Junon, and we are an amateur photographer. Save your scenic photo with snaps. Nope, I don't have one. Anyway, if you know any other camera-worthy subjects... Shinra's rigs are sturdy as all hell. So big, they barely rock. Which means no more seasickness. Granted, swabbing the deck and untangling nets ain't glamorous work. But better to be out there than stuck on shore. Plus, it gives us more opportunities to prove that we're officer material. Who do you think will get licensed first? Me or you? Want to make a bet? Have you met Priscilla yet? You'll know her when you see her. She's such a special girl. Cute as a button and clever to boot. It's no wonder that Dolphin has taken a liking to her. Priscilla's even managed to teach her Dolphin some tricks. She's our town's pride and joy, I tell you. A Dolphin? And it does tricks? Freaking sweet. So they don't have comic? 
Thanks. Alright, so we got a magnet of books. Let's see if we can get in the upgrades. <laughs> so, what'll it be? And that would be a no. Come back soon. Alright, well, red 13 is over here. Have you met Priscilla yet? You'll know her. Many years ago, this stretch of ocean was home to the Republic of Junon's capital, a floating city built atop a fleet of interconnected ships. Priscilla's even managed to teach Now, that once proud metropolis is mere flotsam, courtesy of Shinra. In its place, the company built a new, unsinkable city of steel to stand as a warning to any who might dare to oppose them. Or so I was taught. Oil, gold, wind. The Republic of Junon had no shortage of ways to generate power. No need for Mako. No, sir. Shinra, though. They couldn't live without it. And they made sure we couldn't either. Gotta make that money, right? People never needed Shinra to survive. But somewhere along the line, we forgot how. Hey, you see that trio that took the elevator up top? Had to be Turks. Those suits are unmistakable. Wonder what brought them here. Whatever it is, I'm sure it'll bring avalanche too. And then all hell's gonna break loose. All this laundry, and the wind decides to blow in off the sea. You see, children of the planet. Listen, see. I heard that Shimmer cracked down on him in the boat. Hear how she weeps, how she suffers. How she cries out, even now, for deliverance from pain. A pain that we, her children, are inflicting upon her. If you want proof, then look to the waters, devoid of their vibrancy. And what is to blame for this? Mako, Shinra's miracle has befouled your seas. But I promise you, it will not stop there. It will come for your shores, your crops, the air you breathe. The life stream must be preserved. It is the essence of our planet. The very thing that sustains us. And we must not bleed our mother dry. Well, that lady's I talking heard sense. I cracked down on him and the birds again. He might have to close down the business for good this time. You gotta be kidding me. Seriously? Then how in the hell are we supposed to get all the lumber we need? Oh, well, we've got Chadley here. Hello, Chadley. So, we're gonna do a combat challenge with Chadley, and let's make sure we're prepared for said challenge. We're gonna have a team of Cloud, Tifa, and Aerith. So, let's make sure they're all set up. So, Cloud's HP is not quite where I'd want it to be. We're gonna give him some HP up materia, so we're gonna drop the precision defense focus materia. To get some more HP, we'll steal it from... Uh, this may seem counterintuitive, but we might actually take it from Aerith. Well, hold on. Let me let me check something with Aerith. So we want Aerith to have a lot more health. 1,523 is not going to be enough. Um, the question is, will she have more health with HP up materia combined with something like a bulletproof vest, Mark II? Or with the HP up earrings we have. So that gets her to 1,773. And the HP up materia earrings, slightly better, 1800. So let's go ahead and put those on her, which means we won't need this HP up materia anymore because that's not doing anything. So uh, let's see, what could we get her? I mean, we could potentially give her vitality up materia. I don't know if that's going to do much. Uh, we could also potentially give her another MP up for another 4 MP. That could actually come in handy, but what else do we have? Uh, you know, maybe we, maybe we will go double MP. I think of what else would be better. 
Yeah, you know what? Let's just double up on MP. Okay, healing, cleansing, fire and ice. All that looks good to me. Oh, and let's try to get her just a little bit more health. Let's see. Rama would give her another 27. Maybe we do that. Yeah, let's give her Rama. That does drop her MP by one, unfortunately, but... Regardless, we're going to do it. Okay. So, Aerith looking good there. And let's see. She's got the bone bracelet. Is that magic defense? Yeah, that's pretty good. I think she has the highest magic defense item. Oh, actually, the Beastman armlet does have more... Just slightly. We'll give it to her. Okay. So, then Clouds at 1922. We were going to give him an HP up. So we'll drop Precision Defense Materia. Give him HP up. Now he's at 2091. That's pretty good. Uh, but... Let's drop this Whistlewind Scarf. Let's get something like a Bulletproof Vest, maybe. Another 250 HP. I think that'd be good. And then we also could drop First Strike just for a little bit, because I might actually need some fire. So let's get some fire materia. I guess we'll take uh, this one. All right, and then let's see. How's Tifa doing? Oh, and Red's missing the materia. It doesn't really matter what we give him. We can just give him. Let's give him precision. Actually, let's give him first strike. We're going to give that back to Cloud anyway, but yeah. Okay, and then uh, Tifa's got 2068. That's pretty good. It's not bad. She's getting extra health from this enemy skill material, which is quite nice. I'm, I'm a little tempted to give that to Aerith. But then Tifa might not have what she needs. I don't know. Tough to say. I guess we'll try just with this. Okay. I think they're, I think they're set. I think we're set. So, toss the chat. I see that you've made your way to Under Junon. This town is quite reminiscent of the Midgar Undercity, isn't it? The severe lack of sunlight being one similarity. All right, use the combat simulator. And we have Summon Entity Phoenix, a three-person battle in which you pick your team, confront Phoenix, the undying firebird of legend, to gauge the day form entities combat prowess uh you get phoenix material for beating it and just like titan you can um go ahead and weaken phoenix if full might is too much for you to handle or you could you know come back when you have higher level and better materia and all that um, but we're gonna fight it at full might it's gonna be a very very tough fight just like titan was um, but you do have the option to make it easier if you so desire or can't quite pull it off at the moment but we're going full might, and our team's going to be Cloud, Tifa, and Aerith. And, oof, man, Aerith's health does worry me a little bit, but I think we're going to be okay, especially with her really high magic defense. So that's the team, and here we go. Doing flame of life that's gonna make those orb things around it. I don't actually like exactly know what those do, but Breath of Creation will make a friend. Let's go ahead and assess said friend. That's you in the right. It's a flan. Creatures forged from the life giving flames of Phoenix. They cast powerful ice magic spells in defense of their creator. Exploiting their elemental weakness will pressure them. Then we've got the Phoenix, a fiery summon recreated in virtual reality. This sacred bird of legend has completely transcended the concept of death, resurrecting itself when fallen and even birthing new life from the flames surrounding it. It will be impervious to damage while its creations are tethered to it, 
inflicting enough damage while it is casting Empowering Flame will both interrupt and pressure it. If Empowering Flame is cast twice without interruption, it will follow up by using Rebirth Flame. Alright, so let's just get rid of this flown with a fire. Alright, back to Phoenix. Oh, 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 I got lucky there. I can't believe I got that dodge off. But did that um, charge, that charge hurts a lot, so you really want to watch out for it. Alright, Surging Flame. Block that. Alright, Breath of Creation. Something else is coming. This time, it's a bomb. Let's go. Bomb creatures forged from the life-giving flames of Phoenix. They will balloon in size and become more powerful in order to protect their creator. Inflicting enough damage while they are spewing fire will pressure them. When their HP is reduced, they will enter the explosion imminent state and self-destruct if attacked. These are my least favorite enemies. They are a pain in the butt to deal with. But I would just try to keep the pressure on it. Maybe pressure it here. Nope, couldn't quite. Oh, wait, I got it. Watch out for the Talon attack. Block that. Uh, we could... I'm trying to decide what I want to do here. We could pray, but we don't really need it. Let's just work on the bomb, and then we'll unleash a bunch of attacks on it. So we'll do a braver on the bomb. We'll have Tifa do a dive kick. Oh, no. All right, iridescent burst. We're going to need to block this. It's going to hit the whole arena. We'll do another braver. And if we want Eris help, or help, we could get it. Uh, yeah, I suppose we should. Let's have her do a soul drain just for the damage. She doesn't need the MP, obviously. Right, there we go, and we can drop the bomb. Perfect. All right, now we've got another new thing. Let's assess. It's a grand horn. Creatures forged from the life-giving flames of Phoenix, they will cause seismic tremors to annihilate that which threatens their creator. Hitting them with multiple melee attacks while they are guarding will pressure them, but also cause them to counterattack. Hitting them with offensive abilities will pressure them without triggering any counterattacks, and they're weak to fire. Alright, so watch out, these... Oh, crap. We've done that. Surging flame. Block that, perfect block. Flaming Geyser, this will be on the ground and chase you. You can get a perfect block. It's kind of hard to do, though. I missed it there. Uh, I do have a limit break soon. Uh, let's see what it was up to. Oh, Talons, I managed to block. Just out of habit. I didn't know what was coming. I just guessed. Uh, I do have my limit break. You know what? Let's just go ahead and use it. Let's use the limit break. We'll clot, cross slash him. He's doing a fire at me, but I think my limit break will negate. I guess we'll find out. And I uh, have Tifa. Yeah. Not Tifa. There is attack, rather. Um, surging flame. We're going to need to block this. Ready? All right. Let's have... I don't want to do this. I think we're going to have Aerith do a Cura, because Cloud's lost a lot of health. I want to have Cloud do a play. Oh, first block that. Oh, I guess I missed the block. All right, so this thing's pressured. There we go. Let's have Aerith build her ATV, because she actually can do a ton of damage to this thing with a soul drain. Oh, well, I actually went down. Well, uh, let's hold that thought then. Is it down? Oh, that's not down. It looked like it was down. All right, so soul drain after all. Oops, it gets it off in time. All right, there we go. Oh, Aerith took a ton of damage though. I don't like that. Alright, let's have Cloud do a focused thrust. As you can see, Phoenix is pressured. We really need to um, get it uh, staggered here. Tifa's gonna need to be ready with Rise and Fall, so unbridled strength there. Let's have Cloud focus thrust again. We'll switch to Aerith. She's getting pushed along. Alright, now she can heal. 
Uh, just a regular cure for her should be good. Right, surging flames, we're gonna have to block that. Alright, focus thrust. Let's finish this off. Oh wait, did I get Tifa ready? I don't think I did. Alright, perfect timing. Alright, rise and fall. Do a dive kick. On the strike. We'll do another dive kick. And then... If I have enough time, I'm going to have Aerith get off a soul drain. I don't think I have enough time. I might have her soul drain anyway. No, let's just have her hold on. Cloud can heal us. So we have Crimson, Emanation. Oh, we're gonna have to block that. That sucked. Alright. Wait. Pray. Alright, I should be safe here. There we go. This one. Oh, I could have gotten out of that, but I managed the perfect block. Perfect. Alright. So, it's still flames of life. The orbs are coming back up. Uh, Aerith could heal. I'm a little worried about how much MP we've been using on her. Let's see if we can just hold off. Yeah, let's try to hold off on her. Breath of Creation is going to spawn something. We'll do an Assess. It's an Arc Dragon. Alright, now... Well, let's see with the info first. So, Arc Dragon, creatures forged from the life-giving flames of Phoenix. They protect their creator by manipulating the fires that gave rise to them. Exploiting their elemental weakness will pressure them. So, let's switch Keep to Tifa. Speaking of elemental weakness, we can use Reverse Gale to exploit said weakness. And actually, we will heal. Aerith, throw Cloud a heal. Just a regular heal should be good. Let's do this. Let's see. Oh, first thing perfect. Block. Alright. Let's just have Cloud delete this thing with his bravers. Or at least do a ton of damage. Uh, actually, Aerith could potentially get in a soul drain, and she should if she can. Yeah, let's do it. There, that's gonna give her some MP and do a bunch of damage. Ah, oh, jeez, she took a hit there, though. That sucked. Alright, Breath of Creation's gonna bring something else onto the field. Let's go ahead and assess that. That's the right. That is a Fleet Wing. Creatures forged from the life giving flames of Phoenix. They are quick to set upon any who threaten their creator. Exploiting their elemental weakness will pressure them weak to win. We should be able to get rid of this quick. I can't see what Phoenix is up to. So the flames. Fuck that. Alright, so we managed to get rid of that real quick. I'm worried about Eris' health, but I think we'll be okay. Let's just go ahead and use Cloud to heal her up. We're at the creation, and we've got this god awful ogre to deal with. There's such a pain. Uh, let's do. We'll have Aerith and Tifa go ahead and use Divine Punishment on it. Yeah. Oh, Mavis got caught in that. Nice. He's not expecting that. Uh. Yeah, let's just have Cloud pray. We want to get Aerith back up. And then Tifa can use her Limit Break. Dolphin Fury. I might even have Cloud use his too, to be honest. Yeah, let's do that. Let's have them both use their Limit Breaks. Oh, Flaming Geyser's coming, but we should be okay. Yeah. No problem. Tons of damage to that ogre. Very nicely done. Step the burst. Stop that. We can use prey to get everybody back to close to full health, and hopefully finish off this ogre real soon. Surging flames coming. Perfect block. Running talons block that. 
Alright, get rid of the soap. Alright, he's gone. That was great. Alright, we gotta work through this pressure. Oh, we're doing good though. Eric's got a lot of MP. Full ATB. That should be good. We can even um, we can even have her do a soul drain. Oh, and we gotta get Tifa ready. She's not even remotely ready. Should be able to focus the rest here. Switch to Tifa. Alright, now Tifa's ready to go. Cloud can finish off this stagger. Right here. Perfect. Alright. Let's have Aerith. Do a soul drain. Keep it up. Keep it ready. Nice ball. Dive kick. Omni strike. Dive kick. And let's just switch the club. Going on here, Crimson Immolation, whatever it's called. Ah, get the safe spot there. Good pray. Got it. Ah, doing Flames of Life. Alright, we got a new Flan. Let's just delete him with a fire. That's a burst. Oh. Alright, so we're doing great in terms of having our resources very high. Let's do a prey, just trying to keep everybody topped off as much as possible. Breath of creation. We've got a bomb. Let me deal with this. We'll do uh a limit break with Cloud. Uh, I guess we could have Aerith heal Cloud up a little bit. Yeah, well, I don't know. I kind of want to wait, but let's just go ahead and do it. First, oh, I totally love that burst. All right, creation, run, something new. Oh, we got the pressure, perfect. Let's see, should I just hit this normally? Yeah, let's hit that normally, and then um, we can have Tifa dive kick. And I'll do braver, and we'll see how much health he has after that. Flames are coming in. All right, that bomb was gone. Okay, so we got this grand horn. Uh, actually, we have Tifa do her limit break on it. That should be good, especially because it's blocking. That'll pressure it. And then Cloud can pray. Tifa's a little lower than I'd like, but it should be okay. It's on now. Block bands, talons. Alright, then uh, Aerith can go ahead and finish this off with a soul drain. I don't know why her soul drain hits it so hard, but it really hits hard. Surging flames are coming. Oh, we got the pressure before it got off. Nice. Alright, we do need to get Tifa ready. Focus thrust here. Alright, hold on. Tifa's not ready. Oh, blazing on rush. Get out of the way for that. That's nasty. Let's take it. Gonna get Tifa ready. No, she's not ready. Uh, Alright, hurry up, Tifa. Hurry up, Tifa. I'll do that and then have Claude finish off that stagger. Tifa's ready. 
Got the stagger. Beautiful. Don't stop now. All right, Tifa's. Oh, Tifa's far away. It's okay. Got it. All right, let's do a bunch of damage here, and then we gotta be ready for things to get a little nasty. Okay, we want another dive kick, and then maybe we hold off. Yeah, I'm trying to. De I'm debating how I want to handle this. Yeah, let's dive kick one more time and then just have Cloud build ATB. Let's have Cloud pray. Oh. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to get it off in time. Uh, actually, we should be okay. Cloud's prey will get off in heal everybody and then Eris gonna have a limit break. This rebirth flame is gonna absolutely do some major damage. So Alright, Tifa hopefully survives this. I don't like where her health is at, but I think she's gonna be okay. Alright. Wow, Bug took that like a chicken. Alright, so we're gonna have Aerith use her limit break of healing wind. You can see the uh, group of enemies just popped up. Let's have uh, Cloud do a limit break. Well, actually, hold on. Let's have uh, Cloud and Tifa actually do a synergy ability. We'll do a uh, relentless rush on the ogre. And then after that, we'll limit break with Cloud. So yeah, Relentless Rush on the Ogre. Alright, so that was pretty good. And then Limit Break with Cloud. It's only a cross slash, but it'll have to do. As good as dead. And then Aerith can maybe heal Tifa. Let's actually wait. She doesn't quite need the healing just yet. Yeah, let's wait. Alright. Oh, crap. Oh, I couldn't get out of the way. Shoot. That sucked. Um, I could have Aerith summon. But let's not do that. Let's just have her heal. Kira for Cloud. Alright, we're safe here. Oh my god. Are you serious? How the heck did she die there? Oh no. I, I don't even understand. How much health did she have? Alright, well that's a problem we can maybe deal with. It's gonna be really tough though. Oh, well, we got a perfect heal there. Crap. I need to pray though. Uh, Tifa's ready to shoot off her limit break. We gotta get rid of the ogre. That's our biggest problem right now. Let's see if she can get rid of the ogre. Don't overdo it. Right, let's see. I, we're gonna need Cloud as well. All right, cross, cross slash from Cloud. I think we got him. Oh, I didn't see the blow up from from Phoenix. Crap. Uh, oh, we could do Moogle Trio. Yeah, let's do Moogle Trio because that has some healing capabilities. And then we can also do a synergy ability. Let's do that. If I freaking pull this off, it'll be a miracle. Uh, let's do Synchro Cyclone on the Arc Dragon. Let's see where that leads us. Oh crap! Get out of there! Okay. Uh, so summon ability. We want Hero's Ballad on Cloud. 
Oh, get in there. And there. Perfect. Alright, we're alive. Alright, we gotta get rid of him. Keep trying. Alright. Oh, just in time for Tifa. Hero's ballad for Tifa. Alright, did I get rid of that stupid fleet wing? There it is. Okay, we got rid of the fleet wing. I can't see what Phoenix did. Oh, it was that. Okay. Alright, uh, Tifa's limit break is ready. Oh my god, we might actually pull this off. Alright, do that on Phoenix. Flame Geyser, we're gonna have to block that. Oh, she interrupted him, perfect. That will let me do a prey. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna pull it off. Moment of Flight? Oh, this is nasty, I think. Yeah, Wings of Flame. Watch out for this. Oh, oh he's kind of flying in the wall. Oh, the wall. Time to get oh well, that actually got me enough to do my limit break. I guess we'll do that. We'll switch to Tifa while she's while he's doing that. Vital strength. I think we got it. I'm gonna pray again just to play it safe. Oh, Empowering Flame, we gotta interrupt this. We'll do a synergy attack. Uh, we'll do Relentless Rush, I guess. I don't think it matters too much. We'll do Relentless Rush. And we pressured it, perfect. Alright, and if we can finish off this stagger, it's game over for it. Let's do a focus strike from Tifa. Alright, we've only got Omni Strike, but it should be enough. Come on, Cloud! Braver! Dive kick! And we did it! Holy crap, without Aerith! Not bad. I am very shocked we pulled that off. <laughs> Alright, well that took a while. That took 9 minutes and 14 seconds, but we got it done, and we got the Phoenix Materia. That was a masterful victory over Phoenix. The flames it conjured were so captivating, I could hardly look away. With an immortal ally like that at your side, you've nothing to fear. Not even death. Alright. Whew. That was tough. I look forward to seeing what new discoveries you make in your travels. Alrighty. So. Let's get things back in order. I don't want the fire materia on Cloud anymore, but I actually do want, um, lightning. Potentially. Uh, yeah, let's do lightning for Cloud. Take that from Barrett. Oh, actually, Barrett needs it too. Um, but that's okay. Uh, HP up, we don't need that anymore. Let's go back to first strike. We don't need the bulletproof vest anymore. We don't need that extra HP, so I guess we may as well use the whistle wind scarf. Although, eh, I don't know, the extra HP is kind of nice. And this only slightly fills the ATB gauge at the start of battle. You know, maybe we'll just stick with the, the bulletproof vest for now. Or actually, not the bulletproof vest, though. Let's do uh, the high power wrist guards. We'll steal that from Red. And then Barret. We'll give him a lightning materia. He can take that one. Actually, let's... Yeah. Let's give him Red's. And then, let's see, I think everything else is good with him. Poison, lightning, healing, I like all that. Cloud's the same, looking good. Let's look at, um, you know, Phoenix Materia might be good for someone like Barret. So looking at it, 
Roll deals a large amount of fire damage with repeated attacks. Ultimate attack is Rebirth Flame. Deals a massive amount of fire magic. Damage and heals the party. So it might be good to have... Barret have something that could heal the party? Maybe? I guess we could try it on him. Why not? Let's give him that. And then Aerith. Did we do anything weird for her? I guess we did. We gave her MP up materia. And we gave her the HP up materia earrings. I don't think we need that anymore. So let's let's have her go back to the magical earrings. Oh, that was on Barret. Weird. Must have swapped it. And then we can give her HP up here. There we go. And let's actually give her some lightning materia as well. Right there. Okay, and then Barrett's got, oh, HP up materia earrings. I guess that works well for him and he's got a crap ton of health. Okay, that setup seems good to me. All right, let's keep looking around under Junon. Sometimes window shopping ain't enough. Okay, she's got a bunch of items, some materia. She does have some materia we haven't seen before. Luck up materia, increases your luck. This bonus cannot exceed plus 100% when more than one is equipped. Um, maybe? And then there's item master materia. Increases the effectiveness of items used in battle. Increases item efficacy by 30% during battle. So that could be somewhat okay. And then she's got a uh, QB booster pack, weird and wicked. It's got number 19, a crawler, number 20, an arch dragon, and number 26, a capper wire. That's only 500 gil. Let's go ahead and pick that up. And we have the other booster packs, so we're good there. Um, so maybe I'll pick up luck materia and item master, but let's hold off on those for now. Thank you so, so much! Try the smoked seafood. You won't regret it. Nothing makes you forget a bad day like staring at the ocean. Many, many years ago, the Republic's capital city once floated on these very waters. That stupid. Cities don't float. <laughs> it was a large city with many people, built atop a series of connected ships called a flotilla. That sounds awesome! But it was always rocking back and forth, back and forth. Well, I think I'd get seasick. <laughs> You'd get used to it in time. So what happened to the floating city? Where did it go? <sighs> Into the depths. Shinra sank it in the war. The flotilla now rests at the bottom of the sea, along with its hidden treasures. All right, let's see what's fighting today. All right, we got Barret over here. Some fishing village this is. Ain't even allowed to take a rowboat out. Shinra's saying it's only a temporary prohibition. But people gotta eat. Anyway, short of stealing the boat and causing a scene, both us and our black-robed friends are S.O.L. Waters here used to be teeming with fish, practically jumping to your boat, way people tell it. But ever since the offshore reactor came online, only things caught in the nets are monsters, and I ain't talking tuna. Shinra just couldn't help themselves. Had to go and poison the sea, too. Some fishing village this is. Any Shinra saint, short of stealing a boat and causing a scene. Both us and we should have never let them build a reactor in our waters. Okay, so we've got the inn here. And actually, how am I doing? Let's um top my health off just a little bit. We got lots of potions. Let's go ahead and take a couple. Well, actually, that's good enough. Staff appear to be on break. All right, so what do we have to do for our story again? Let's see. Check to see if the others have heard anything about the black-robed figures. 
Oh, that's right. I forgot to talk to Aerith. She's hanging out somewhere around here. Nothing makes you forget a bad day like staring at the ocean. All right, and Tifa's over there. All right, let's talk. Let's uh, eavesdrop a little bit more. Been an age since we've seen travelers like yourselves. No one save Shinra folk ever bother with us. Don't suppose you might consider stocking up on provisions while in town? My own store's long gone, but those ones there are still holding on. I'm sure they'd welcome you with open arms, even if you don't end up buying anything from them. Look at this good guy. Advocating for the village, not for himself. Alright, let's see what's biting today. Alright, what's going on over here? These people are not happy with Shenra. My people! Our only way up, but Rhonda won't thank us if we storm it. Every damn thing, pick friggin' fish. I'm sick of it. Doesn't matter who's at the head of the table, we're always gonna be forced to eat scraps. She wasn't kidding when she said it was well guarded. Got any other ideas? Elevators are only way up, but Rhonda won't thank us if we storm it. All right, so we can go to the end now, but let's look around just a little bit more. forget the day we reeled it in. Nearly capsized ten times over, but we caught it. Wow. Nice catch. A Shinra event. One they're pulling out all the stops for. We gotta get up there to see it. And how do you propose we do that? Hitch a ride on the Condor? Nothing makes you forget a bad day like staring at the ocean. Okay, where was I? <laughs> My friends, I represent the anti-Shinra forces in the Crow's Nest. Do you believe the company has gone too far? That they must be stopped? Shinra's Mako has ruined our ocean. It has tarnished our beaches, destroyed our livelihoods. When was the last time you all felt safe eating your own catch? The last time you had fish so fresh you could eat it raw? I'll tell you when, before Shinra came along. We fight for a world untainted by their greed. A world with clean waters and vibrant forests. Join us in the crow's nest and help us put an end to Shinra's tyranny. <sighs> Where'd those roped fellas run off to? Okay, where was I? <laughs> My friends, I represent the anti-Shinra forces of the Crow's Nest. All together in a group? I didn't expect that. Maybe they went looking for a doctor. Good riddance, I say. They stunk to high heaven. Must be a crowd up there now. What with the others? Well, Junon is a military base. Makes sense that refugees would seek shelter here. Well, somebody saw the blood, black robe dudes. Hi, Aerith. Word around town is Shinra's holding some kind of big event up top. Wonder what? The people here, they hate the lack of sunlight, but not me. I like it this way, though I'd never tell them that, of course. Word around town is Shin. Wonder what? Must be a crowd up there. I swear, ever since Shinra came and built that blasted hunk of junk above us, <laughs> these waters have been so polluted with filth that I haven't seen a single fish. 
What's a man of the sea like me supposed to do? <sighs> Poor guy. Okay, let's go to the end. Since we've seen travelers like yourselves, no one has seen Hello there. Room for one. Help! Somebody, please! Help! <laughs> Sword. You're some kind of fighter, aren't you? That was Priscilla. And from the sound of it, she needs a tough guy like you to lend a hand. Help. All right, we we're helping. Go. Now! There's a monster attacking the boat! This way! Down here! Quickly! Please! Terror of the deep. Let's see if we can get an assess on this thing. Alright. Assess. A monstrous aquatic creature that lives off the coast of Junon. It possesses a buoyancy that allows it to swim at high speeds through both the water and air. It ingests seawater and then expels it with explosive force to stun prey. Inflicting enough damage on its head while it is in the water will pressure it and cause it to take to the air. Attacking the water cells it creates will pop them. It's weak to lightning. Now, grasping tail, don't get caught. Oh, that was close. Yeah, it's so hard to hit this thing. Alright, it's doing water cell. And you can see the cloud just got caught. So, we're going to switch to somebody else. Barrett in this case, and we're gonna pop that with a thunder. Gonna make your anger up. Taking over. Come on, Cog, get up there. Oh, grasping tail, don't get caught. All right, let's just play it safe and do a prey. Oh, and we pressured it. Barrett can do a focus shot momentarily. Cloud can do a focus thrust. Here it comes. Oh wow, Cloud did it on his own. Nice. Uh, in that case, let's have Aerith can help out with a thunder, I suppose. Here, let's do that. Barret, unload maximum fury. Sucking us in. Stay away. 
watch out for the little bursts that are coming out. And there it is. What a twister. I might just hit it with a thunder here. Oh, we could do a summon too. You know what? Let's do a summon. Titan, get in here. You're up. I think Aerith actually had Rama, but I've been wanting to use Titan and I just haven't really had a chance. So this is a good chance. Let's do Mountain Crusher. Launch a flurry of Earth's shattering blows. Do it. Get in there, Titan. Yeah. Oh, watch it. Oh, I got grabbed. All right. Get him out of there. And actually, we'll just have... Oh, wow. Well, Barry got hit with a lot of stuff. All right, hold on. I actually want to get the set on right now. Let's see. Assess. Water cell. A thick globule regurgitated by the terror of the deep. Use the trap prey. Strike the water cell to pop it and release whoever is held within. Magic damage will pop it fast. Uh, but at this point, I might just finish off. Regular attacks. Oh, well, I got crap. Uh, Aerith, up to you. All right. Let's have Barret. Do Titan's other ability because I want to see it. Boulder hurl. Throw an enormous cluster of rocks, damaging enemies near to Titan and then to targets. Do it. One more shot. Here goes. Why don't you My turn. I want a twister. All right, we gotta actually heal Cloud. Aerith, go ahead and do a cura. He's missing a lot of health. Boulder hurl. Boom. Oh, that's okay. Oh, water cell. Who's that at? I got it. Thunder. Now's our chance. Where'd he go? Oh no, don't waste Titan's ability. Hydro shot? Oh, he tried to grab me. Not gonna work this time. Let's do a pray. Water cell. Oh. Earth and Fury! Man, wow! 3300? Nice. See you soon. Not like that. Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. Oh, grasping tail! Got me. I'm working on the fin. Got it. Cripple them, finish them. Watch this. Aerith, do your soul drain. That always hits good. And Barret, maximum fury. Oh, no, you don't. She's breathing. Hey, we need help over here. Somebody, help! Maybe someone should go find a doctor? There's no time. God, she's so cold. We need to get her breathing again. And there, help me! You're on chest compressions. Got it. Now, start! Uh.
Those guys there are from the Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell? They used to be with Avalanche, but left after a policy dispute. <sighs> Easy. They're guests of mine. And this one was trying to save your life. He was? Ugh, nice going, Yuffie. Call the guy a creep, why don't ya? You big moron! Dump, 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 dump! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, Yuffie. Let's get you inside. You've had a rough day. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Not to be that guy, but kids these days, I swear. Now, now. Who's that? Another one of my guests. I seem to get a lot of them when the world's on fire. Well, the crew finally ran into Yuffie. Monsters like that one have been cropping up more and more lately. Goddamn reactors to blame. Thanks again. She would have been in deep shit without you. Monsters like that one have been cropping up more and more lately. Goddamn reactors to blame. Okay. So, crisis averted. Uh, let's hear what these people are saying. I guess nothing. That girl's certainly something, isn't she? I'm so glad she wasn't hurt. Okay. Anyways, let's head up. Wow, that didn't phase her at all. Ocean's real quiet today. Too quiet. Something's brewing, can tell you that much. When an old salt like me says you ought to keep your feet on dry land, you listen. All right, buddy. I'm glad you uh, identified yourself as the words of uh, wisdom. <laughs> hey, you guys are that avalanche splinter cell, right? Now, how the hell did you... I just gotta say, I'm a big, huge fan of yours. HQ wishes they could be as cool as you guys. <sighs> well, uh, we are pretty cool, but... Think we could sit down for a chat later? Got a teensy favor to ask. And gotta thank you for before. Uh, I suppose you could come by the inn tomorrow. Sweet! You won't be sorry. Promise. Later! Um... I know, I know, she laid it on pretty thick. But hey, she's just a kid. What's the harm in hearing her out? Maybe she wants your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get ourselves some rooms. Okay, time to check in. Isn't the heroes of the hour. I heard about what you did for that girl. Thank you so much. Your stay is on us. We insist. It's the least we can do for you, really. Now then, how many we got? Will four rooms be enough? <clears throat> uh, could you make it five? Five it is. Oh, everything is comped. So if you need anything at all, just ask. Don't know about you. But I'm dying to put my feet up. That's nice to have the place booked up again for once. Gosh, when was the last time that happened? That's nice to have the place booked up again for once. Okay. This is a pretty nice place, actually. Wouldn't have expected it in a shanty town like this. It's open.
What's up, Barrett? Hey, so about that Yuffie kid, what do you think she wants with us? Be honest. To join Avalanche. Maybe she wants to join Avalanche. Normally, I wouldn't turn anyone away, but she's just too young. Don't have the time or patience to babysit. I'll break it to her gentle. Oh, Barrett's really happy with us now. Shinra didn't waste any time getting our names and faces out here, did they? Rest up while you can. I'll let you know if anything happens. Shinra didn't waste any time getting our names and faces out here, did they? I could feel them slipping away, one by one. And the tighter I held on, the more I lost. I know. I felt the same. It was like they were sucking them straight out of my head. And the worst part is that I don't even know what's missing. Only that something is. Like it's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember. Damn whispers. Speaking of, have you seen them lately? <laughs> Cloud. Who's in there with you? Oh. Hmm. Red. Thought it was someone else. No. Nope. I'll clear here, officer. Well, hope the rest of your patrol is just as uneventful. Well, that was weird. Let's knock. Come in. Ooh, and you can see she has a special chest in here. Let's check this first. Obtained an Empress's Scepter. Ooh. Fancy new toy for Aerith. So let's see. Her timeless rod is 27 attack, 49 magic attack. The Empress's Scepter is 36 attack and 31 magic attack. So interesting. It actually goes down in magic, but it has an extra materia slot. Its ability is Radiant Ward. A history staff once offered as a gift to Her Majesty. Radiant Ward. Conjure a ward that grants invincibility while casting spells. Strengthens Aerith's basic attack. Proficiency bonus. Finish off an enemy with a standard attack launched from within the ward. So, not a big fan of the scepter or its ability, to be honest. Uh, but we'll use it for a bit, get that ability. I do like the extra materia slot. That's always nice. So, let's go ahead and equip that. In said materia slot, I guess we could put our cleansing materia back in. And we don't need this lightning equipped. Let's just unequip this. We'll pick something else for her. Maybe, uh... I mean, she could have both the MP ups. But let's spread them out a little bit. Let's give her vitality up, I suppose. And then weapon skill. There's lightning damage, enduring wards, spiritual harvest increases the amount of MP absorbed with soul drain by 25% or max MP plus three. Let's go for the spiritual harvest. And actually let's look at, uh, oh, red's miss missing a bunch of material. Let's fix that. Um, cloud. Let's give him the precision defense materia back. And then let's see, old red, what is he getting? We'll give him that MP up just to level it. He's got wind, fire. Let's give him a lightning. And... Hmm. I guess he could take an ice. All right. Should be good. So, let's talk to Aerith. Hi, Aerith. I don't know about you, but it feels like we've been on the road forever. Like Midgar's ancient history. I wonder how Mom and Marlene are holding up. Homesick? Mm -mm. No time for that. Not with Sephiroth around. Mm. 
So, a little random, but do you remember the first time we met? You shoved the flower at me. You shoved a flower in my face. It's called a gift, Cloud. I saw it, you know, in a vase at Seventh Heaven. And I seriously doubt you're the one who put it there. Hey, I mean, you never know. Some advice? Never re-gift a present from a girl. Especially if you're just gonna give it to another one. Noted. Water under the bridge, but next time... Fair. I didn't know at the time, Aerith. Where do you think those guys in black went? We should have seen them by now. Gotta wonder what Shinra's planning up there. Where do you think those guys in black went? Okay, so apparently, despite the flower regifting, Aerith is now very pleased with us as well. We didn't check in this room. But there's nothing. I read. This town reeks of fish and brine. Should Shinra come calling, I doubt I'll smell them till it's too late. We'll manage. We'll manage. It feels like I have fish bones in my nose. My poor nose. Okay, now Red really is happy with us too. Everybody likes Cloud. Let's go upstairs. Oh, hey. Perfect timing. I was just about to come find you. Yeah, I... You... Regret what I said in calm. Oh. Come in. I should have never doubted you. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio from Nibelheim? The only person I remember from the village is you. The only person from the village I remember is you. Huh? Oh. Okay then. His family owned the general store. Right. Anyway, he left the village right before you did. Thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at Seventh Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all grown up. Didn't even recognize him at first. Really? Yeah, and what's more, the woman who walked in with him was stunning. Like, she could have been a model and... You're not interested, are you? Not really. But I I'm happy to listen, so go ahead. It's okay. Forget it. Was this another test? No, it wasn't. I... <sighs> Why deny it? I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Figure things out. Just be ready to spill your guts, huh? <laughs> With my iron stomach? <laughs> Night.
I think I'll turn in early tonight. Okay, so there's our room right there, but let's look around before we go in. We got this nice little porch here, right? <laughs> right over the protest. We might have a hard time sleeping tonight. Hopefully they're not at it all the time. Mm. Okay, and you can see we have some materia. What is this? Lightning materia. I have a lot of that, and I don't need more, so kind of a waste. Anyways, let's go to our room. So not a bad room. We keep staying in, in nice places. Let's get some rest. Rest for the night? Yes. The gang's all here. It's time you got to know me. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Ninja Operative for the interim Wutai government. I left my beloved homeland behind to bring an end to Shinra's reign of terror and prove that Wutai's not to be trifled with. <laughs> mm. <sighs> Wutai? Yep. Which brings me to that little favor I mentioned yesterday. Long story short, I want you to join me. HQ, they just didn't understand. But you guys get it. <sighs> Don't ninjas creep around in the dark slitting people's throats. I mean, we've done some shit, but we ain't about to stoop that low. I resent that. <laughs> Although, that is something we do. alone so far from home is expensive so I've been moving from town to town hustling scraping together enough scratch to keep sticking it to the man until that is I came here and lucky I did because I met Rhonda she offered me the gig of a lifetime an assassination and guess who the target is seriously guess <sighs> just spit it out already who else but a certain company's new president, Rufus freaking Shinra! That crazy or what? And that douchebag will be here any minute now. Up there here anyway. Enjoying his fancy inauguration parade. These people had their country stolen from them, and then their sunlight. Junon demands revenge. So when the president steps out, Oh, wow. Tell us more. Mm. Okay. You want to know how Rhonda's planning on paying me? With your bounty suckers. What? Wow, got a hand it to her. The lady works fast. Well, this is fun. See ya. Hey! <laughs> If you manage to get away, you should try to find Priscilla. She'll get you topside. <laughs> now, now! You don't want to make me come in there and fetch you, because I would love to do it! Who's that? A pain in the ass. Let's go.
what light from yonder balcony breaks. Come on down and say hello. Oh boy, it's him. All right, let's go say hello indeed. I'm taking my time. I'm not rushing to greet you. Yeah, I am a tease. I move at my own pace. Honestly, how long do you intend to keep me waiting? Absence certainly makes the heart grow fonder, my friend. <laughs> Still playing hard to get, eh? Well, I've got news for you, young man. As if by fate, the speed demon has been entrusted with a singular task. Retrieving one Aerith game. Uh, me? You come alone? <laughs> it only takes two to tango. Besides, you and I like to go big, and a venue this small just won't do. But no need to worry. I found the perfect stage. The city above, where we can dance up a storm. Seek me out, and we'll put our last performance to shame. With a show none shall ever forget. You got some weird friends, man. We might want to think about getting out of here. These people don't need more trouble. Yuffie said to talk to Priscilla if we wanted to get topside, right? Let's go find her. Thanks for dealing with that Shinra nut job. Don't you think for even a second we did that for you? The slime ball who sold us out. Take it. Not much, but it's yours. The hell's this supposed to be? <laughs> Your bounty. Part of it, anyway. You thought I'd put you through the ringer like that without making it worth your while? We're on the same side. Always have been. And what if Biker Boy had taken us in? Then I would have had to improvise. But I didn't, because it all worked out. Worked out fine. Like I pray it will for you, Fee, upstairs. Alright, fast travel is now available. New quests are available in the Junon region. And new uh, Queen's Blood players await us in the Crow's Nest, if you want to head out over there. So, we're going to go ahead and wrap things up right here. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.